Today in this YouTube window. Guess what guys, the Nexus devices aren't going anywhere. We can come down. Looks like Asus is working on a budget-friendly Android Wear watch. Hey, because the other ones might be a little too expensive. T-Mobile adds more to the whitelist of apps that aren't gonna mess with your data. Are you disappointed that you don't have some of that Android L on your phone? Well, we got some wallpapers, we got some of the keyboard, we got some stuff. Yeah. Android L. Man. Expect a video later? Yeah, I got the preview on my uh, Nexus 5. After, some of you actually might know, uh, if you follow me on Twitter and stuff, that I... I thought I destroyed my phone when I tried to do that. There's a reason, really, and I'm not going to go in full explanation why it happened. I mean, part of it was just because maybe I was just idiotic about something, but there's another reason, but I don't want to say. It has to do with the computer I use. Ah. What's happening, my Android friends? Welcome to Friday's episode of The Mandroid Show. How's everybody doing, huh? You still coming down from that buzz? That Google I.O. frickin' Android L buzz? As you can see, I'm still excited about it. I'm probably really more excited about it because I have it on my phone right now. I'd love to show you guys, but that'll be in a video that'll probably be up, I would say, tomorrow, Saturday. So look for that. Oh, it's so good. Anyways, guys, let's talk some Android. All right, guys, we can calm down. The Nexus devices aren't going anywhere, all right? David Burke has clarified this. He's, he was wondering exactly why everybody was freaking out because, you know, the Silver Lion was coming out and they were like, oh, this is bye-bye Nexus. Well, that just shows you that some of those leakers were wrong as well as, well, we just freaked out for nothing. Then again, when we heard about the Silver Lion, we were thinking, okay, well, I mean, they're going to essentially be Nexus devices anyways, but, I mean, that's cool, though. They're going to have the Google Play devices. They're going to have the Nexus devices. They're going to have these Silver devices. Maybe they're... Hmm. That's a lot of stuff. So let me know what you think about that. I'm sure you're excited. And they, they did say they are working on another Nexus phone right now. So who knows who it's going to be by. LG is saying no. But they didn't they say that last year? That was guys. And of course we saw smartwatches, the Gear Live, and the G Watch, as well as the 360. I don't know about you guys, but I think I'm going to wait for the 360. Very tempted to frick out. I was so tempted to buy that G Watch. Oh man, just because I want it in my life. I really do. You know, I just really want it in my life, but it's okay. I'll wait because that 360, man. Oh, I just, I, naked. It's really quite beautiful. But what about some of these other OEMs out there, like HTC? Well, they said they're gonna, they're gonna put out a smartwatch probably later this year. But Asus or Asus? Ah, did I say Asus again? Damn it! Asus claims they are working on like an AMOLED display smartwatch that's going to be very budget friendly, and we're talking about 150 bucks, maybe 100 bucks. Maybe somewhere in between there. So that's pretty awesome right there. But what do you think? What do you think is the best price for a smartwatch with Google, with Android Wear on it? With all the features that you saw at Google I.O., what do you think is just like a good price? What do you, you think the LG G Watch being $230, you think that's perfect price right there? Do you think it should be $200? Do you think it should be less than $200? Let me know down below what you think. I just want one for free. I... I I, I'm the Mandroid. T-Mobile just keeps uh. on just blowing our minds. And they've added another app to the list that won't mess up your data plan. You know how they did it with all the streaming music? Not all the streaming music, I should say, but the ones on that list. Well, you know how we love to show off the speed of our network? You know how we run the freaking, what is it, the Ookla speed test or something like that? And we always like to show those screenshots to people like, yeah, I'm getting 40 down, mother... But guess what? That is using your data. It is. And now it won't if you're on T-Mobile. So far, that's it, but that's kind of cool that they're going, hey, this doesn't, no, no, no. Be awesome if it was Netflix or YouTube, though. <laughs> that, yeah, that, that, that won't happen. What app do you think should be on the list, too? What app do you think shouldn't be messing up our, our data plans? What app do you think that you use and you're thinking, why is this even messing with my, there probably isn't too many out there because obviously when it comes to, you know, downloading stuff and you know, some of it, you do, you know, it has to affect that just because it's just the way it goes. But well, let me know what app you think should be on that list as well down below in the balls area. And finally, guys, like I said in the beginning, we have some wallpaper from Android L. We have, there's something about the keyboard too. There's, they're pulling stuff out of those factory images and everything like that. So I'll have all that down below in the balls area. Let me know what your favorite feature is on Android L. And some of you have probably already rocked it. If you have a Nexus 5, you probably threw it on your device. Maybe you have a Nexus 7 and everything. Whatever you have. 
Let me know what your favorite feature was. I just like that material design, man. That thing, wow. Just when I thought, I was thinking, oh man, because I love the holo, hollow, whatever the hell you want to call it, uh, the blue, you know, and that was introduced with, well, it was introduced with honeycomb, technically, but when we all got ice cream sandwich, I just loved that color scheme, and it seemed like slowly, Google was trying to, you know, get rid of that, you know, slowly introducing wide icons, more simplicity in their icons, more flat. And I was thinking, oh man, are they going to have something that looks almost like the iPhone? Oh man, don't do it. But now they have this material design with the layers and the way everything, oh, it's so pretty, guys. I can't wait for you to try it. And I, like I said, I'll have a video, so look for that this weekend. And also hit that like, thumbs up button if you'd be so kind. Subscribe to the Android Spin channel if you have not already. And uh, visit film, ah. And visit AndroidSpin.com for your latest in Android news and visit FilmJunkie.com for your latest in movie news and also go and subscribe to that channel, my other channel. It's good stuff, guys. I, I tell you what. And also visit Gaps Early for all your Google apps. There's been a lot of updates this week, so check that website out as well as autocorrect failness for some laughter to start your weekend off right.